Hi everyone, welcome to another session of uh, Product Management Basics. And today we are going to discuss user stories. So in this session, I'm going to take you uh, through uh, the explanation of user stories. Why is writing a particular product feature into the form of user stories is important? How do we write a user story and how do we further define a user story so that it is understand understandable by your product team as per and uh, as uh, and with your <clears throat> development team in a much better manner. So yeah, now we start with the session uh, and a bit of introduction about myself. I am Atul Pandey. I have uh, more than four years of work experience as a product manager. Currently, I am working in the BFSI industry and I have <clears throat> a domain knowledge of uh, fintech and product and de development growth and my MBA is from an Institute of Foreign Trade. So yeah, let's start. So yeah, let's try and understand what is a user story. So user story as written is an informal general explanation of a software feature written from the perspective of the end user. So for example, <clears throat> I'll give you two scenarios. Scenario A, I tell to my development team that I want to design a tracking feature for my delivery orders. This is the scenario one. Now in the next scenario, I convey my usage as as a user, I want to track my order so that I know when my order is arriving at my house. So out of these two comparisons, which one do you think suits to convey the overall product requirement, overall uh, product feature from the end point of the user as in how can uh, this feature be more beneficial to the user? So I think definitely is the second one, right? Where where the story, this complete story in one line brings out why is it important and what is the definite, what is the need for this feature to, de to be developed and <clears throat> who is the user. So like I said, as a user, so as I am the user, uh, I want the, I want to know when my order is reaching at my place as it solves my uh, purpose of tracking my order. So both, so the three things, the user persona, the, uh, the need of the user and the purpose of the user is clearly defined in this user story. We learn about this more in the coming uh, slides as well that how to write a user story. But for now, what we need to understand is the user story is a smallest unit of development, uh, which, uh, which is given to explain the complete functionality and end to end usage of that development feature. So this in a nutshell is what a user story is. So yeah, moving ahead. So how do you write a user story? So, uh, so say your <clears throat> product strategy is defined, you are moving ahead with your developments. Now you have to convey a user story in, uh, from the perspective of the end user. So the basic parameter of writing a user story is that it includes three parts. It includes a purpose, it includes a persona and it includes the need. So a basic template of a user story can be uh, as a dash as in the user persona. I want to perform this action so that I can accomplish this goal. So this is the basic template on which a user any user story can be written. So for example, uh, for, for example, the feature that I have mentioned over here, the story that I have mentioned over here, as a product manager, say this is for uh, uh, for uh, for uh, a development uh, requirement wherein the product roadmap is being built. So uh, for one of the features where where the uh, product manager needs to search through the uh, notes through the uh, uh, through the uh, 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 notes that are there in the product roadmaps. Uh, we want to uh, develop a feature wherein he can find those nodes. So for that, uh, a user story can be written as as a product manager who is the uh, persona over here. The product manager is the user over here. I want to search across the nodes in my company's product roadmaps. So the need is to search across the nodes in the given roadmap of the company so that I can quickly find initiatives that require my team's resources. So this is the overall purpose for which this uh, development needs to be done. So you can see that it conveys the end to end usage of this functionality. Like I need this feature to be developed so that I am able to find these 
company uh, the uh, uh, the nodes quickly across the product roadmap right so this is the complete end to end functionality from the point of the user who is the product manager so say uh, i can take one another example so say uh, 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 we were the one who who developed the feature of a sound which happened when uh, the payment on google play pay was being made so how were you going to convey this feature as a user story so as a uh, pay as a payer right uh, who is paying uh, the money i want to know i want to know that when my payment is complete without actually looking at my phone so that is why this feature was being developed so in a sense the purpose is fulfilled that i want to know that uh, the payment is uh, complete and the need is that you know uh, that uh, without looking at the phone you know when the sound of uh, the uh, payment transaction completion is made you know that the payment is made and the persona obviously is the user over here so this is a way of defining the development of a product feature in the form of a user story so yeah. moving ahead we now discuss initiatives epics and stories to make it simple for understanding a lot of stories is in a collective manner define an epic and a lot of fp epics make up a initiative or a common goal so a collection of stories is epic and a collection of epic is initiatives so i'll just uh, <clears throat> try and elaborate it more uh, with a example so say uh, we want to increase the uh, we want to promote or increase the engagement on our blog we want to uh, 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 increase the number of users who are coming of the blog so this overall uh, requirement this overall uh, thing this overall purpose can be described as initiatives now uh, the to increase the reach of a blog can be subdivided into a lot of other factors so for our cause we can uh, consider two factors say we want to increase the engagement and we want to uh, improve the accessibility through ui ux so these can be uh, uh, said as you know uh, these are the epics now uh, epic one can be that we want to increase the engagement on our blog post now this how are you going to increase the engagement on your blog, blog post so if you convey this uh, requirement to your development team that we just want to increase the engagement on a blog post this is not going to work right so you want to divide this uh, engagement on the blog post epic into a lot of user stories so a story task one can be that whenever uh, a user comes to your blog post he is able to comment on the blog uh, blog uh, that he reads so uh like in the format that i uh, described pre previously it can be told as as a user i want to be able to comment on the blog so that i am able to give my feedback so this story defines all the three things the need the purpose and the user per persona the user persona is the person who is coming on the bl blog the need is that he is he uh, that he wants to give a feedback and the purpose is obviously that he wants to keep him himself engaged so in this format this story can be conveyed that for a user who's coming on uh, the uh, blog or uh, who's coming on the blog he needs to uh, be engage himself in a manner that he wants to comment on that uh, blog post so this is a particular end to end user story task that needs to be uh, that that is put in the form of a uh, story task so yeah this Uh, so i hope the the uh, the difference between an initiative epic and story task is clear uh, a collection of story again makes up an epic uh, and it uh, conjoins together to drive a purpose which is called initiative so we'll again go through this with an example so uh, so basically uh, say uh, 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 what we want to tell over here is that <clears throat> as uh, a user story is more effective if it is refined in a lot more uh, sub tasks in a lot more stories so say uh, an original user story is told as 
uh, as as a user i want to be able to securely log into the system so when we try and refine this for purpose we we understand that this is not actually a user story this is an epic which has a lot more uh, stories aligned to it which will define our uh, product feature in a much uh, a simpler manner so say uh i define the original user story like i said is i want to be able to log in securely into the system so say this is my epic uh and i i'm defining it i am uh, defining it into a lot uh into many other user stories so one of the user stories can be as a new user i want to register by creating a username as password okay this is one of the functionalities which is defined that as a new user for or in the overall picture of uh, implementing a sign up and login functionality one of the features can be that i want to register by creating a username and password the other feature can be as a register users i want to to be able to log in with my username and password obviously makes sense that as a user you want to be able to log in with your username and password and this separate uh, requirement is defined in the form of a different user story the third user story is as a registered user i want to be able to change my password and keep it secure okay that is also one of the requirements so what we see here is to arrive at a goal uh, which is mentioned in the epic of implementing sign up and login functionalities we further refine uh, these user stories in a small uh, product functionalities so this way we can convey our requirements in a much more effective ma manner to our development team and we can uh, adopt this agile methodology for our development features so yeah this is how we define these user stories so that was about user stories and how how we write it and uh, further refine it from epics to uh, a lot more user stories uh, for uh, better implementation but now we try and understand why do we use these user stories so as i have been uh, telling throughout uh, the session uh the user stories focus uh, efforts on a complete piece of functionality it conveys the complete end to end functionality of the feature so whatever the examples that we took uh, the example of the blog post in which uh, a functionality of a user uh, who is able to comment on that blog post so that he is able to interact with the uh, writer of the blog post so that conveys the end to end functionality of the whole picture so another example that we took uh, in this uh, slide was about uh, implementing the login functionality so uh, uh, if you are able to log in into a system with your username and pass password so that is an end to end functionality of the new user that is coming to the system also user stories capture uh, the complete intent and desired outcomes they uh, they explain the stories uh, uh, the, the they explain the features based on the user i mean they keep the user in focus like uh, for example uh, uh, the example that i gave in the case of uh, zomato wherein i wanted to know uh, where my order was so that was completely given from the perspective of the user so that way user stories are important so that it gives the overall picture of where the user is centered in this functionality that is being implemented also uh, these uh, stories drive often drive the creative solutions they, are, they enable collaboration when you are able to think from the point of the user you just come out of that theoretical world into a more practical world wherein you can understand whether a user uh, understands uh, whether the user is able uh, will be given uh, the the proper solution to this problem and we are able to understand the pain point of the user in a much better manner so that way user stories are uh, important and they definitely drive the agile uh, product methodology to today and as a budding and aspiring uh, product manager you should be well versed in being able to convey your product requirements in a in in the form of user stories so yeah so that was about user stories uh, it, and, and that's it from the session today if uh, you have any more uh, queries you can always comment on this video and we'll come up uh, uh, we'll get back to you so yeah thank you so much